One thing you might have noticed as I'm showing you this manual pipeline uh, method here that I use is that down here in the inbox, I actually don't have any page references. You may have noticed that these are just blocks of text where I've um, sketched out ideas and I wanted to talk a little bit about how I use the inbox and why. So I almost never will have a uh, reference out here to another page in the inbox. The primary reason for that is that I want my inbox to be extremely low friction and quick capture. So if I have an idea for a blog post, I wanna be able to come in here and just start writing. I don't want the additional overhead of creating uh, an external page and dealing with the metadata and doing all of those other things. So I personally will do much of my early uh, drafting right here as a block on the blog pipeline page. Again, uh, typically down here in the inbox section. One of the other reasons that I like this is that if I'm honest with myself and honest with you, uh, most of the ideas that I capture in my inbox are never going to get turned into actual blog posts. So in my actual graph here, this is a demo to make things a little bit easier to see and understand. But in my actual graph, I've got dozens and dozens of ideas in my inbox. It's very messy um, and I'm totally okay with that. I just want that to be a free form place that I can come in and just write things. Sting things are still very fluid um, in this part of my writing process. And so keeping those as blocks on the page just removes friction and makes the whole process easier. And it also prevents potential wasted effort that would be associated with creating links out to dedicated drafting pages for articles that might never um, have anything done with them. Because an idea that I might think is brilliant when I throw it in the inbox, um, I come back and look at it a week later and it just seems like a terrible idea. So um, again, this is just an easy place to add things. Um, I like it so much that I have, in fact, my process has evolved over time and I have actually started um, using this more block-based method in higher up stages of the pipeline. So what I mean by that is, this uh, Southwest Airlines article, for example, um, I've done a fair bit of drafting here. Um, this is a little bit more developed than something I would typically have in the inbox. Uh, but instead of going ahead and creating a dedicated page for it right away, I have in fact started just moving these blocks up and I'll do a lot of my drafting right here on the blog pipeline page. I like keeping the number of different pages and places that I have to go within my graph to a minimum. So that's one of the benefits. Um, one of the downsides to doing it this way is that it can be a little bit visually distracting. So if you're like me, um, easily distracted by visual noise, when you're trying to focus on a single blog article like this, if I were to sit down and try to work on this particular article for an hour, um, having all of this other visual noise here in my field of view is not great for me. And so you might think, well, that, that means that I need to go ahead and create a dedicated page for it. But I wanna actually show you the method I use, which is uh, which I call block focus. Um, I think there's, Sorry about that, let me go back. Um, if you just hover over the uh, bullet here on the left, uh, again, I forget what the formal name is for this in Rome, but if you just single click on right on top of that bullet, what it's gonna do is take you into this um, dedicated page view. So it's almost like you get the best of both worlds. I am now working here on this article draft as if it were a dedicated page, I don't have anything else uh, visually distracting me, but if I wanna go back and see it in context, um, or skip that extra step of, of navigating in there, I can do that. So again, um, don't hesitate to just use blocks on this page, experiment with that. You don't always need a dedicated page to do your drafting. And we'll come back and talk about these ideas in a little bit more depth when I talk about drafting pages here in a later lesson.